Each year, Physicians for Peace sends out teams of medical volunteers to not only provide health care, but to also teach professional skills in countries around the world. This is their story. You're about to meet some incredible people and journey to some distant places, places that may seem worlds away. But these people and places are within reach to Physicians for Peace. Travel around the world with Physicians for Peace and share their healing, even miraculous experiences. Our world is facing a crisis, a crisis where sadly, innocent men, women, and children are dying from preventable diseases. A crisis that finds developing world healthcare systems and their doctors, nurses, and other providers woefully ill-equipped and undereducated, struggling to meet even the most basic health care needs of their communities. The United Nations Foundation estimates that the developing world carries 90 percent of the global disease burden, yet has only 10 percent of the worldwide health resources. World leaders at the United Nations Millennium Summit established a blueprint to meet the needs of the world's poorest and neediest by 2015. One of the underlying principles is that access to quality health care is fundamental. Since the 1980s, Physicians for Peace has been focused precisely on that single principle, providing quality health care education to the world's poorest and neediest. The internationally based and non-sectarian Physicians for Peace is a humanitarian non-profit medical education organization dedicated to building peace and international friendships in developing nations with unmet medical needs and scarce resources. From its headquarters in Norfolk, Virginia, Physicians for Peace works diligently to mobilize the world's best medical providers to build relationships with colleagues in the developing world, going where medical training and treatment are desperately needed. I take tremendous pride in winning Friends for America whenever I undertake a medical surgical mission. These medical diplomats are exporting medical education, clinical care, and medical supplies to help those who need it most, empowering them to help themselves. Their acts of compassion demonstrate every day that you don't have to share a man's faith to help save his life or speak a woman's language to cure her illnesses. Physicians for Peace was founded by internationally recognized humanitarian and plastic surgeon Dr. Charles E. Horton Sr., whose vision is based on the premise that if you heal someone, you help one person. But if you teach someone to heal, you help many. The whole thing behind Physicians for Peace is to try to get people to use medicine as a a path to understanding each other and becoming friends. Because of his vision, Physicians for Peace has selflessly served the people of more than 50 developing countries and has provided medical education and care in numerous specialties to health care providers and their patients. Their volunteer teams of medical professionals, doctors, nurses, dentists, physical therapists, and other health care providers focus on medical education and training from the classroom to the operating room. These volunteers stand shoulder to shoulder with colleagues around the world, teaching and demonstrating those medical techniques that best meet the needs of the host nation. In that education process, they treat patients and ensure a pipeline of medical supplies and medicines to help sustain their newly acquired skills. The goal is long-term sustainability and eventual self-sufficiency rather than temporary relief. It is simple yet profound to further the cause of world peace and international goodwill through medicine. Physicians for Peace is in the educational business. They go into a country and bring uh, dentistry and other medical specialties and train the people to become proficient. They train the teachers so when they leave, there's people trained that sustain the project and goes on and they go out and train other people in the country. The need to build bridges of cultural, religious, ethnic and gender understanding and to ease needless suffering is more vital today than ever. From Africa to Asia, from the Middle East to Central America, Physicians for Peace has responded to these calls of action, showing respect and compassion for members of all nations. Physicians for Peace works in two primary ways. The first is continuing medical education, helping to transfer knowledge to our friends in the developing world. The second is capacity building, 
helping to improve the infrastructure by enhancing productivity, skill sets, and outcomes. So many countries today are imploding under the weight of their own medical crises. The need is great, and it can't be met single-handedly. Every effort is made to establish broad coalitions to support programs. This is accomplished through partnerships with government and non-government organizations, multinational corporations, universities, and other groups key to each program's success. Central to its mission is alliances with some of the world's leading medical institutions. These partnerships provide access to an international healthcare educator pool and a pipeline of medical volunteers for sustainable programs. In addition to medical volunteer support, Physicians for Peace makes focused donations valued at tens of millions of dollars annually of medical and dental equipment, medicines and supplies to support programs in host countries. Physicians for Peace's initiatives begin with a real and present need. For example, fire-related burns is a leading cause of death and disability among children in the developing world. Much of the related disability can be reduced with adequate and timely treatment. The Physicians for Peace vision for a burn care program was born in Managua, Nicaragua, where volunteers provide lectures in burn reconstruction surgery, teach medical personnel the latest in treatment methodologies, and provide burn garment education. It's a, a job of, of a team, and that's why, that's why what Physicians for Peace and Aprocaine are. We are a team to turn tears into smiles. These garments, which greatly reduce scarring and skin contractures, are now produced locally for as little as three dollars rather than in the U.S. where they could cost more than a thousand dollars. Throughout much of the world, amputee victims of landmines, war, accidents, disease and birth defects receive little or no continuing medical treatment. Unable to lead productive lives, amputees become a burden to both their communities and families. That's why Physicians for Peace designed the Walking Free program. This internationally acclaimed program assists developing nations by establishing sustainable prosthetic, orthotic, and rehabilitation centers. Finally, women's and children's health is of growing concern throughout the developing world. Preventable diseases and poor health care are causing an increase in maternal and infant death rates. Physicians for Peace designed its Women's and Children's Health Initiative to reduce maternal morbidity and infant mortality. Their Resource Mothers Program pairs pregnant adolescent girls with lay caseworkers who coach the mothers-to-be in prenatal care, childbirth, and postpartum and newborn care. These mentors assist with the practical and emotional obstacles the young mothers-to-be will face in circumstances where hygiene and medical support are nearly non-existent. They provide the education, uh, assist them with setting up uh, doctor's appointments, keeping those doctor's appointments, and the end result is hopefully a healthier, happier family as a whole, not just the baby. These are but three of Physicians for Peace's many activities. A host of Physicians for Peace medical educators can be found in virtually any country. Remarkably, Physicians for Peace has garnered an enviable record of financial stewardship over the years, earning the highest rating from independent evaluators. Typically, 90 to 95 percent of every cash and material contribution directly supports missions in the developing world, an accomplishment coveted by many. Physicians for Peace continues its operations each and every day. For developing nations around the globe, Physicians for Peace is a partner for a better life. But much remains to be done. If we all work together, we can continue to bring healing to this hurting world. Your financial gift to Physicians for Peace will help cure the health crisis in developing countries. Please offer your support now.